Welcome back to Bright Raven Gaming. I, as always, am your host, Bastion, and today we're back in Wasteland 3. Whose job was that? I tried to talk to some dogs and some chickens over here, but that did not work very well. So we will just continue on with the story. Alright, let's, uh, let's look here. Oh, hello. Welcome to the inventory screen. From here, you'll be able to uh, see all available items you are carrying, view their stats, information, equip them to characters, and more. There are no limits on number of items you can carry at once. Oh, that's nice. You can right-click on an item. I already did all this. Ah, thank you. Any weapon can be broken down into spare parts by field stripping it. If you have a very low barter skill, you can sometimes get a better price from a merchant for parts than the weapon itself. But the Scrounger's Touch perk, Field Stripping, also has a chance to grant weapon mods. Nice. Alright. And we did get a weapon mod. We just have to have somebody that can actually mod the thing. Yeah. We can arrange that at some point, I'm sure. Uh, da -da 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 oh yeah, I wanted to go over here and swap that. Because right now I have three rockets. I don't have any ammo for this thing, so... Yeah. Can find someone who will. Okay. Oh. And give him the badge. I think that helps with his hard ass. Alright. And he also has leadership. Cool, cool, cool. Um perks, log missing, reputation. Cool. I think we can get this thing started. Let's go. Actually, want you in front. Not a chance. <coughs> Aha, Marshal Quan, Sergey Gretzky. Let's talk to Quan first. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Quan, and this here's Sergey Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. <laughs> Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Mm. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Mm. What were the Dorseys after? The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. Hmm. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Ah, <laughs> got it. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Nice. Yeah, okay. weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Enter the war room and wake the base main systems. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. This space has been out of service for decades. Have you been on guard the entire time? Your security system is showing signs of neglect. Where from IT? We're here to fix you. Yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. 
This terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirls for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command's identity. It replies, command empty, designate new command. Install yourself as command. Camera flashes above the monitor and a terrible photo of your face slowly appears on the screen line by line. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. Nice. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Mm -hmm. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course, but apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, uh, so you want us to round them up? Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. Hmm. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. What? And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Thank you. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Mm. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Okay. That's what I like. Sir, yes, sir. I expect great things from you, Rangers. Do good work. All right. Let's move out. Sweet. Oh, a deer. Mission log. You have a new mission. To view its details, use J to open the mission log. Okay. J. Mission types. Primary mission progress the main storyline. Secondary missions are optional side quests. You've just received a primary mission, Cornered Rats. So your next step should be paying a visit to the Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Copy that. Okay, and I also believe that we level... Oh, we got attributes? What? Starting at level 3, your ranger will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straighter, or hit harder? There are your attributes for that. Yep. Um... Hmm. And I want my critical chance up... 
definitely want it up. So, there we go. And now for skills. Confirm. Skills. Get small arms up. Oh, that cost two that time. Okay. And some sneaky shit. All right. Up. Oh. Mm, did not mean to do that. All right, here we go. Time to get your attributes. Uh, one. We're gonna put it into strength. Confirm. Um. Now then. Explosives. Yep. Yep. And big guns. Oh, we can't do big guns because it costs two now. Alright. Uh, let's put one in brawling. And why put it in brawling? Mainly just so I can... It costs two brawling, but... We'll have enough here fairly soon, I think. Next time I level up. All right. Oh, oh boy. Oh, blunt weapon. Handle. Tactical grip. Oh crap, I messed that up big time. Because I should have done weapon modding. Ah, uh, that is so irritating to me. Okay, alright, it's fine. 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 Scrap armor, scout armor, scrap pants. There. There. I can't believe I flubbed that up like that. That's... Oh, I feel so stupid. Alright. Maybe I can recruit somebody who knows weapon modding. I don't know. Uh, let's see. That's armor plus three. This is armor plus four, so that's better. Alright. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Radio static. Okay. We get some loot here. Not the best loot in the world, but it's loot. All right, I think this place is significantly looted. Take a look around right fast. Yep, looks like it's looted good and proper. So now let's go out here. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting. That so do of... I. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quite enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Sounds good. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits. Thank you. Just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Okay. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Okay. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Yeah. Let's speak with Sergeant Gretzky to hire new Rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. Ooh. The other two slots 
may be filled by companions such as Marshal Quan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help all the same. You'll find plenty of companions on your journey throughout Colorado. Sweet. All right. Before we get all, to all that, we got a few questions. Show us uh, you've got uh, what you got lined up. Yeah. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. Yeah, I know. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Yeah. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. All right. New recruits. All right. I want somebody who can mod my guns. Weapon modding. Axel. Nice. Weapon modding. Ice. Hmm. First aid. Yeah. Weapon modding. Devlin. <laughs> Armor modding. Okay. Armor modding. Automatic weapons. I can create custom. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. All right. Unlucky lad. Here we go. All right. We're in it now. That'll be here they spotted. Oh. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Bookworm. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Oh boy. Bonus damage to humans. Hmm. Ooh, penetration's better. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. I like that. All right. Uh, unlucky lad, your face. Let's look here. Oh, all scarred up, huh? Oh my goodness. They don't call him unlucky lad for no reason, right? <laughs> I'm not going to be so mean. There we go. Hair. Hair's actually about right. And neither unlucky lad nor now slaying can grow any kind of facial hair. So. <laughs> ah, da, 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 da. I'm going to be training this guy up as a sniper. This will do just fine. All right. Jackets. I think I already have some armor for him. There we go. Like I said, I think I already have armor for him, so I'm not too worried about that. The color palette's fine. Tall and slender. Portraits. That'll do. 
Starting weapon. He is going to be starting with a sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Attributes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Unlucky lad is the luckiest one? Not normally. Give him some more speed. Give him some intelligence. Give him a little bit of charisma. Skills. I have 11. Putting four into that. Putting two here. Two there. And two there. All right. Do I even want you to have a quirk? I think that actually works. Giving him a little extra. He's a little bit slower, but that's okay. He's a sniper. That's fine. That is fine. I like it. All right, unlucky lad, get in here. Very nice. Uh, oh, I can keep going. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Hacker. All right, Crash. I can select you. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but... Getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're going to want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Okay. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, you're cool. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. All right. Uh, one sec. All right. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Thanks, we could Great. use the help. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. Companions, you've recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. Unlike the rangers you create, companions are pre-made characters that have their own personalities and agenda. Piss them off, and they could leave you high and dry. You can have up to six characters in your squad. Up to four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving at least two spots open for companions. There is no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. 
Okay. So. Rangers, good to see you. Uh. Sure thing. Let's have a look. So Marshall Quan crash. All right. Boom. 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 So, all right, just double checking everything, making sure everything's there. Good you to go. go. Anything else? Nope. I'll be here. All right, I. So, we got our pistolier. We got our heavy. Here. Boom. Nice. Uh, and he can also mess with stuff like this. Huh, how do I do that? Oh, that's a sniper rifle. <laughs> so, like on that submachine gun, that could be... Hmm. Ooh. Nice. Huh. I want to drop it. Kind of like... Like do that. Huh. Oh, maybe I need a workbench or something. Not sure. Anyway, we'll figure that out after a while. Let's go exploring, shall we? Cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. This enormous spider like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids, its casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrap marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. You recognize it's a slicer dicer, a pre-apocalypse military robot. Appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. Upon closer inspection, you note that some of the bullet holes have been patched and several of uh, the legs show sign of recent welding. Slicer dicer's main access panel is open, revealing its wire and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted at an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here a while. Examine the corpse. The woman is wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire, and bits of circuit boards. Looks like this wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in the old garage like this. Terminal display information about the base systems. Okay. 
Entrance, the smell of rusted metal sparks filled the room. Mechanical failure reported. Issue to repair order. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Alright then. Alright everybody, let's move. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will Well done. Well done. Well, that was unlucky, lad. you can find massive data wipe from several decades ago hmm. all right yay <laughs> lovely um I get rid of fire. So just go out on its own. Oh, right, it does. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, right. So everybody's hurt now. Yay. Oh, my goodness gracious. Energy cells, ammo. So many freaking death traps in this place. Uh, it's just great. No, really, it's it's fine. Ah, uh, time to go check over here. All right. Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. Pear toaster. Weird. Alright. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall, a museum or something, or a handball court. to get a decent shot at one of these things. There we go. Bam. Uh, the minimity has armor. Can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all weapons have penetration stat. Yes, I know. Okay, that's cool. Oh, lovely. Alright, so we're going to take cover around here, and then we're going to shoot. We're going to... Okay, great. Thank you. 
Okay. Out of it. Are you serious right now? Razor back. What the heck is that? That way, get him, cat. Bam. Ah. Uh. Okay. Nope. There we go. Just keep punching. Wolverine fur. All right. Billboard. Who put it here? How the heck long does do status effects last? Here we are. 30 seconds. All right. Okay. Do I have an antidote? If I have an antidote, I'll just take an antidote. Doesn't look like it. All right. It's about to wear off. That does significant amounts of damage. Oh, boy, does it ever. It's finally worn off. Um, uh, I can't get here, can I? I guess we can. Sweet. More stuff. Now we can go check this side. Nothing. Guess we can go back here now. Nothing else. All right, cool.
Um, waving at you through the balls bars of a cell is a pale, rail thin man with matted hair and frayed, faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? Oh, wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> New uh, landlords. Yeah. That's cool, man. Cool. I hope taking over is uh, going good for you. What, uh, what brought you out here? Oh, sure. Top secret. <laughs> so you're part of some important organization, huh? You look like you're uh, real important, you know? I can see it in your pretty eyes. Do you have um, more people in your group? Uh, we found some recruits and more joining soon. Oh, hey, man, that's good. That's that's good, man. More uh, people hanging out. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. So, hey, uh, what, uh, what? Oh, yeah, man. Of <laughs> course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. Yeah, okay. My name? Uh, yeah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick. Booger. Nick. Dickens. What? Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. It's been a long time since I thought about that, man. It's been a longer time since someone, uh, asked me about it. Uh. I. I kind of been here for a while. Why are you in there? Because uh, the cell door is locked. Uh huh. <laughs> Why were you put in there? Oh man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well. I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man. Like former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like seriously. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. La. Oh man, yes, yes, please, very much. All right. Uh, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Huh. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure, but uh, I sure appreciate it. So, uh, so. Huh. Dogs outside, cool. The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He's wearing shabby clothes. He's been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and those are tattered and grimy. Shoes have holes in the soles. 
Item gained. Sweet smelling mushroom. You find a half eaten sweet smelling mushroom. What the? What's going on with the dead guy? Is he uh, alright? Uh, appears to be normal. You comb through the logs, calling ancient messages, routine system notifications, until you have a list of recent activations. Activities. Wake initiated. Wake complete. Credentials rejected. Credentials accepted. Login. Admin password. Admin OS. Loading default admin operations. Backup generation initialized. Automated security. Lockdown initiated. Login required. Credentials rejected. Credentials rejected. OS station locked. Locking out user due to multiple failed login attempts. Terminal displays information about base systems. Everything appears normal for the moment. can hear the dogs outside just panting like crazy. Oh, yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. Thanks for, uh, the assist, dudes. Well, uh, I was actually hoping we'd get something for releasing that fool, but all right, whatevs. Please, don't shoot. Whoa, hi. Uh, woman in gaunt, uh, is gaunt. Her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of uh, bed raggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. Where are the rangers? Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. Uh. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. Huh. Did you set off my not security system? The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed and more are always coming. Uh huh. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here, for any of us. You can't stay. You have to go. Of course. That's what I knew you'd say. We'll go to the city then. Beg for food like the others do. Won't be any more trouble for you. Thank you. Come on, everyone. Gather up your things. Ah, container. Ooh, nice. October 12th. 
Well, they all gonna say the same. Dell said you'd make us leave. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. I wish we had guns. Then you couldn't push us around. Dell said you'd make us leave. I shouldn't have. Dell says you'd make us leave. Shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Don't trouble yourselves. We'll be gone when you come back. Good. Sure that you are. All right. So we Rangers, need. Rangers, good to see you. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. Let's have a look. We'll do one more ranger here. And, uh... Oh, okay. Never mind. There you We're go. good to go. Anything else? Nope. I'll be here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, where do we go to, like, rest? Because everybody's hurting a little bit right now. Ah, there's how you leave. There's how you leave that way. Ah. Cool, cool, cool. But I think that's going to do it for this particular episode. I have no idea if I did the right thing, wrong thing, or what thing I did. Oh, I can, attributes and skills. I can level her up. Uh, what was her specialty again? Hacker. Some nerdy stuff. Nerdy stuff. Okay. Okay. Targeting override. And automatic weapons. So, there. 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 And some sneaky stuff. Confirm those changes. And... Let's make you real speedy. Confirm. Looks good. Looks good. Unlucky lad.
Huh. Blunt weapons, blade weapons, brawling weapons. Okay, so... I don't know, I'll figure that out at some point. That'd be alright. But, I think for now, we have dawdled around quite a bit. And very soon we're going to be ready for that next episode. So this will be the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed it, uh, consider leaving a like. Uh, feel free to give me insight on how to get people rested up. You know, how to get them their health back to where it needs to be. All that kind of good stuff. Uh, in the top left hand of the screen, you will see the uh, playlist for all the Wasteland 3 content. In the top right, you will see the previous episode. Bottom middle, you'll find the place to subscribe to me. If you would like to contact me about any games or other comments besides that you want to put in the comments below, you can get in touch with me at Bright Raven Gaming 822nd at gmail.com, which will be in the description below. Or you can get in touch with me at Ashton Bright Raven on Facebook. Until next time, I've been Bastion, this has been Bright Raven Gaming, and I wish you all a fantastic day.